Hi, this is Kanu Babu. This is part two of a race. In this video, we'll discuss about how to find the sum of even numbers and odd numbers in the given array in C# dotnet. So here, first of all, we need to. Um, uh, I I want to read the input from the console. So here I'll try to declare the namespace using system, and here I'll try to declare a class. The name of the class I'll declare as program, and here I'll try to declare main method. and here i will try to um i want to create an array the syntax to create an array is data type array name is equals to new data type of some size i'll mention as 5 so i want to store five values in the given array and the size of the array is 5 i mentioned so i want to read the input from the console so i want to uh, read five values from the console so i will try to write the for loop for int i is equals 0 i less than equals to 4 because the size of the array always start from 0 to size minus 1 now i'll try to write console dot right line if i want to enter a number enter a number and i want to store the number in the array a of i is equals to int dot int dot parse of console dot read line by default console dot read line will read the input in the form of string So I want to convert string to integer and store in the array. So initially i is zero. When i is zero, I want to store the first value in the index of zero. And when the loop is rotating, i is one. The second value I want to store. So if you want, you can say I will press F5 and check the output here once. It is asking me to enter the first number. I will give the first number four, second number five, third number six, fourth uh, fourth number seven. So here what is happening? Here one array is creating. If an array is creating, the size of the array is what? Four. So always index of the array starts from zero. Zero to size minus one. So this is zero, and this is one, and this is two, and this is three. And at the index of zero, I want to store the first value. That is here. I try to store what? Uh, four. Second value is five. Third value is six. Fourth value is seven. Is it clear? Now I want to check whether each number is even number or not. If it is even number, I want to find the even sum. If it is odd number, I want to find the odd sum. That is my requirement, right? So here, let us say. So in order to check whether a number is even number or not, I will write if if number. Where is my number? Here of i. If here of i modulus two is equal to zero, then it is even number. Else, odd number. Is it clear? If it is even number, I want to find the even sum. So I'll try to declare one variable int even sum. Initial even sum is zero, and I will try to declare one more variable int odd sum. Initial odd sum is zero. If the given number is even number, I want to add the number to the even sum. So where is my number? Here of i. So even sum is equals to even sum plus here of i, and here odd sum. Odd sum is equals to odd sum plus here of i. Is it clear? Finally, I want to print the values. I want to print the even sum and odd sum only. Finally, so that is the reason I will print the statement outside the for loop. Here I will try to print console dot right line of here I want to print what even sum is plus even sum, and here I will try to print console dot right line of odd sum is plus odd sum. Press F5. Check the output. I will enter the number three. Next four. Next five. Next six. So even sum is ten because four plus six is even sum. Three plus five is odd sum. So odd sum is eight. So here what is happening? Here this is my array, and the values that I have stored is three and what four and what five and what six. So first of all, I want to check whether the first number is even number or not. If it is even number, add that even number to even sum. So first uh, number is odd odd number. So it will add to odd sum. So initially odd sum is zero. Now zero plus three is how much? Three. Next second number is even sum. Initially even sum is zero. Now second number is even number. So zero plus four, four. And third number is odd number. That is five. So add this five to odd sum. So three plus five how much? Eight. And fourth number is even number. Add this number to the even sum. So four plus six how much? Ten. So in, uh, i is how much? Five. So the condition is false. Come outside. Print the odd sum as well as even sum. That is how you can write the program, right? So this is your program. Now we'll see one more program. Program to find 
count the number of even numbers and odd numbers in the given array. Let us see this program. So I will try to declare using system and here I will try to declare class. The name of the class I will declare as program and here I will try to declare the main method. Now I want to create an array and I want to store the values in the array. I want to count the number of even numbers and odd numbers from the given array. Uh, I, will, I want to read 6 numbers from the console. So data type array name is equals to new data type of the size I will give as 6. And I want to read the input from the console. So I want to rotate the loop how many times? 6 times. So initial i is how much? 0. Uh, so the index of the array starts from 0 to size minus 1. That is 0 to 5. So I will try to write the for loop. For int i is equals 0. i less than equals to 5. i plus plus. And here I will try to enter a number. Control dot write line of enter a number. And I want to store the number in the array. So R of i is equals to int dot parse of console dot read line. Right. And here I will try to write console dot right line of. Uh, now I want to check whether the given number is even number or odd number. So if R of i modulus 2 is equals to 0, then it is even number else it is odd number. So if it is even number I want to count the even sum. Yeah, how many even numbers are there and how many odd numbers are there. So I will declare two variables. One is even count initial is 0 and I will declare one more variable int odd count initial is 0. So here I want to increment the even count. So even count plus plus and here I want to increment the odd count. So odd count plus plus. Is it clear? And finally, I want to print the number of number of even numbers are number of even numbers are plus even count. And similarly, I want to print the odd odd count number of odd numbers are plus odd count plus odd count. And that is my requirement. So, for example, this is my array, and here I want to store what six values. Let us assume my first value is what something like this. One array is created like this. Is it clear? And here, for example, my first number is 2, second number is 3, here 4, here 5, here what? 6, here what? 7. So, always the index of the array starts from 0. This is 0, this is 1, this is 2, 3, 4, 5. Is it clear? So, initial i is how much? 0. Number is incrementing or decrementing? Incrementing. So, the condition is what? Less than or equal to. Is it clear? So initial i is 0, enter a number, my first number is 2, 2 is stored in year of 0. And again the loop is rotating 6 times, so it will read 6 numbers from the console. And here I will declare two variables. One is even count. And the other one is odd count. And here I have i. Right? So initial i is how much? 0. 0 means year of i. Year of i is how much? First, For example, if I take the number as 2. Right? 2 is stored in year of 0. The name of the array is R. Is it clear? Now here what is happening? R of i, that is 2. 2 modulus 2 is equals 0. Condition is what true? Enter. Even count. Initially even count is 0. So 0 plus 1 how much? 1. Is it clear? Now again the uh, either if or else will execute. Now i plus plus. So i is how much? 1. Now here you can say enter a number. The second number I will enter 3. So 3 is stored in year of 1. And now 3 modulus 2 is equal to 0. Condition is false. Go to else. Initially odd count is how much? 0. So 0 plus 1, 1. So until now I have read the two numbers. Among the two numbers, one number is even number, other one is odd number. And again the loop is rotated. I is how much? 2. So here if you observe clearly, 2 less than equals to 5 true. Enter a number. The third number is 4. So 4 is stored in year of 2. That is here. And 4 modulus 2 is equal to 0. Condition is true. So, yes, the um, cursor will enter into if. So, even count plus plus. So, the number of even numbers are how many? 2. Is it clear? Next, i. i is how much? 3. So, the condition is true. So, my third number, that is 5, is stored in year of 3. Is it clear? So, 5 modulus 2 is equal to 0. Condition is false. Go to else part. Odd count. Initially, odd count is 1. Now, it is 2. Now again i. i is how much? 4. Is it clear? Fourth time we are rotating the loop to check whether the fourth number is even number or odd number. So enter a number. Now this time I will enter the number as 6. 6 is stored in year of 4. And here 6 modulus 2 is equal to 0. Condition is true. Enter into if. So here even count is how much? 3. 
now i use how much 5 i'm uh, entering the i'm rotating the loop for uh, sixth time is it clear and it is asking me to read the number so the number is 7 7 is stored in error of 5 now 5 modulo 7 modulo is equal to 0 condition is false go to else part so odd count is how much 3 so i use how much 6 so the condition is what false 6 less than equal to 5 condition is false come outside print the even count how many 3 odd count how many 3 if you want you can check the output here enter the number 2 3 4 5 6 7 so the number of even numbers are 3 and number of odd numbers are 3 right i hope you understood for more videos you can subscribe to the youtube channel and facebook group thank you have a nice day